Welcome to your English class. I know you are quite bored because the vacations have been quite long and you are not allowed to come to school or meet your friends or go out to play. So today I have come up with an interesting lesson from your English literature book which is India at Play. In this lesson you will learn about various games that originated in our country India and how with time they have been reinvented. But before we start with the reading of the text, let's first look at a few word meanings which help in a better understanding of the text. You can write these word meanings in the book itself. Games have been a part of life in India since time immemorial. Many games have originated in India and some are being reinvented today. The Pro Kabaddi League has brought Kabaddi out of the shadows while the Indian Premier League has doubled the enthusiasm for cricket. The sporting scene in India is vibrant today as we experiment with the old and create new and exciting possibilities. When we think of sports, games like cricket, football and tennis come to mind. We rarely think of games such as Kabaddi, Gilly Danda and Kit Kit. Though they have been with us for centuries and are played enthusiastically in almost every village and city of India. What are these games? Where do they come from? And what do they mean to us? Let's read on. In the history of humankind, Sports has always played an important role, both as a source of amusement and a means of keeping the mind and body fit. In ancient India, as with many ancient civilizations, it was not enough to gain knowledge. The health and fitness of one's body was equally important. So we can see that during ancient times, that it was not only knowledge that was important for a person's overall growth and development but a mind and body's fitness was equally important. Health played an important role. Long before India had embraced cricket and football, games such as kite flying, kabaddi and kopo to name a few were played both by the kings and the commoners. So these games that were played in India way before cricket and football, they were played both by kings and commoners. They, the games could not be distinguished between. These games do not boast of having sports stars like Sachin Tendulkar or MC Mary Kwong, but they are immensely popular even today. Interestingly, the earliest forms of some of these games existed even before the Mahabharata was written. So there are a few games which have been existing from time immemorial. Coco is one such example. Okay, let's read about Coco now. A game of great agility and alertness in ancient times, it was played on ruts or chariots. Have you ever thought about it? How do you play Coco? You, I am sure you must have all played Coco. So earlier it was played on ruts or chariots and was known as Rathera. Earlier it's, it was known as Rathera. In its modern version, a chaser from one team tries to touch an opponent from the other team to get them out. The chaser may pass his or her task to a teammate Sitting on the central line made, a, made on a rectangular field by touching the teammate's back and shouting, Ho! The teammate that takes the shortest time, the team that takes the shortest time to dismiss its rivals wins. So this is how we play Coco today. Another game of touching and dismissing opponents is Kabaddi. 
It is said to have originated from the Mahabharata incident of Abhimanyu getting trapped in Chakravyu by his enemies. Kabaddi is a game of breath control, reading and dodging. A player raids the opposing team, tries to touch an opponent and return to his or her team all the while chanting Kabaddi Kabaddi. You know what happens if you just stop chanting Kabaddi Kabaddi? Well, you lose. And holding the breath. It is important to hold the breath and constantly chant Kabaddi Kabaddi while playing this game. And this is an interesting fact to note that at the Asian Games so far, India has always won gold in Kabaddi. Another popular sport dating back to the ancient times is wrestling. Ooh. The Mahabharata mentions Duryodhana and Bhima as accomplished wrestlers. The most famous freestyle version of wrestling in India is known as Pushti, which symbolizes bravery and strength. The Pahalwans or the wrestlers generally practice in Akharas or wrestling schools and bangles. Annual village competitions decide a new champion every year. Many Indian wrestlers such as Sushil Kumar, Geeta Fogat and Babita Kumari have gained international fame and become the face of Indian wrestling. I hope you all understood the lesson till here. We will discuss the remaining portion in our next class. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe.